Racing. Eh, re, carrera de, de karts eh, estelar. What? What? Let's go. Racing I enjoy because I think deep down everyone enjoys going fast in in some aspects. It's about the dice dice eh, disfruto el rally porque eh, pienso que todo el mundo disfruta de ir rápido de alguna manera. It's about the overtaking, you know, the racing that singular person. You get to follow them around and then you've got to work out a way to pass them. You make little adjustments. You go a little bit faster. You push it a little bit harder, a little bit more, a little bit more to get a little bit more speed. It's a very satisfying loop. Ah, dice que es algo muy satisfactorio, que cada vez vas ajustando más, vas apurando más, eh, vas metiéndole más caña. In racing, it's a more controlled PvP environment, which is kind of like going to like pure peak performance of the player. Ah, dice el racing es un eh, ambiente controlado de PvP que se centra en tener el en sacar el máximo rendimiento posible. Racing in Star Citizen, I think there's a very dedicated uh, core community to it, and they're doing a, an amazing job with what is there. And I hope in the future that we'll be able to provide a lot more support to them. Dice que eh, la comunidad de racing es algo que... O sea, hay una, una comunidad muy centrada en el racing, eh, a, 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 en torno al racing en Star Citizen y que espera que en el futuro eh, puedan darles más apoyo. There are many ways to spend your time in the Star Citizen universe. That ever-expanding sandbox that lets you hunt dangerous criminals, haul cargo from one planet to another, harvest resources from asteroids to caves and much, much more. But one aspect that's been driven almost entirely by the community is racing. A way to test the metal of your pedal against other players at any time or place. Eh, se pueden hacer muchas cosas, eh, eh, carga, historias y demás, pero eh, una de las cosas que has, se, se destea con entusiasmo por parte de los jugadores es eh, el metal de tu pedal, eh, las carreras. That's why when a small handful of developers recently found themselves with just a little bit of spare time between tasks, they took inspiration from the community and created two new racing experiences for the Persistent Universe that we'll be showcasing here today. Y ese es el motivo por el cual eh, los Ayers de Star Citizen, eh, tomando la inspiración de, de los jugadores de la comunidad, eh, nos van a mostrar ahora dos circuitos de rally eh, nuevos, dos nuevos circuitos de rally que nos van a enseñar ahora. Now up first, let's learn how the Snake Pit racetrack, originally conceived by the community, had its industrial makeover in the recently released Alpha 317-2. Ah, vamos a ver cómo se ha transformado el, el, el circuito de Snake Pit, eh, que fue eh, buscado por los jugadores y cómo lo ha transformado a lo que, en, a lo que es el día de hoy. The Snake Pit was actually inspired by videos from the community. It's this racetrack that's been proven to be fun and successful time and time and over again. Ha sido inspirado por Dios la comunidad y ha probado eh, eh, ser exitoso eh, una y otra vez. I just figured why not try and bring it to the next level. Eh, ¿Por qué no llevarlo al siguiente nivel? No? I wanted to create something that's believable, that could tell a story like at a first glance, something that would be fun for the racers and something that would even be fun for any spectator that just wanted to come there, chill, watch the race. Parece que quieren hacer algo eh, que, que fuese eh, también divertido para el espectador, para ver a la gente ahí eh, compitiendo. Because I had the idea to make this racetrack, I think it was the same day that we branched to go into Evocari. I had just a limited number of days before this could go to the backers and into the PTU. So everything we did for the racetrack needed to be assets that already existed if we wanted to make the cut for 317.2. Claro, si querían sacar al tiempo esto para la 317.2, tenían que utilizar recursos que ya estuvieran en el verso. The process was a couple of hours of going through assets, putting them on the planet, setting them up, seeing if they feel good. I wanted also to place some 
a few landing pads here and there on like specific turns where people could just be there and watch the ships as they drift around those corners. Claro, querían hacer unas pocas localizaciones eh, de aterrizar para eh, que la gente pudiera ponerse allí para ver las cosas del lugar y estuvieron como un par de horas eh, buscando y montando piezas para ver cómo quedaban la superficie del planeta. The Snake Pit is uh, way bigger than any racetrack that I would have imagined. I think most of the game devs that I know usually work on cool little things on their free time, whether it's work related or not, we just do it just to keep up with what's going on in the industry. I've worked on multiple AAA projects in other companies, and this is the only one where you're actually even encouraged a little bit to go out of the beaten path and talk to the community, listen to what they have to say. It's not something that you find anywhere else. Ah, dice que eh, aparte de estar trabajando siempre estás haciendo otras cosas como desarrollador para poder mantenerte al día. Y comenta de que eh, eh, algo que, que se hace en Star Citizen es el que incluso eh, te ves como animado, eh, te animan, ¿no? A, a, a que entables relación con la comunidad para, para ver qué puedes aportar al, al juego y es algo que no se hace en otros lugares. So this is definitely for me it's a added bonus to my work to just have this interaction with people. Using the time between tasks while waiting for other resources to become available and making fun things inspired by the players has led to a number of features, assets, and otherwise neat stuff making their way to the Persistent Universe over the years. And it just so happens that one of the next ones is making its way to you in the upcoming Alpha 318, and it features a different kind of racing experience. Ah, dice que eh, vamos a tener eh, otro que va a llegar para la 318 y que se caracteriza por una eh, experiencia de rally algo distinta y que eh, bueno que siempre que haya tiempo disponible o tiempo libre que es, es curioso ver cómo bueno o interesante ver cómo los desarrolladores pues trabajan en, en proyectos también para el Star Citizen. When we finished working on Siege of Horizon, my lead approached me and told me about those convention halls that they are most of the time empty in between the events and maybe we should fill it with something fun for the player. We collected some ideas. Oh, ¿qué dices, tío? ¿Qué dices? ¿Qué me estás contando? ¡Qué guapo, tío! ¡Qué guapo, chaval! Dice, eh... Es una guapada, chaval. Dios mío. ¿Qué es esto, tío? Eh, dicen que, claro, que, que los, las zonas de los eventos que normalmente pues que están sin utilizar y que se, se juntaron con el líder de proyecto y tal, y, y, y pues... And decided to go for a buggy racetrack. Y de, han decidido hacer un, 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 una pista para, para buggies. When we started, we didn't want to take this go track too serious. Um, we wanted to make something colorful and playful. So I oh, qué, qué guapada, tío. Dice que no queríamos de tomar esto demasiado serio, queríamos hacerlo eh, de colorines. Y... Our main inspirations were obviously a very popular racing game. Dice, hemos tomado inspiraciones de, obviamente, un juego de carreras muy popular. Evidentemente, tenéis el Mario Kart. We took also inspirations from laser tag, those black lights, paintball arenas, stuff like that. Qué guapo, tío. So I had three weeks in total um, to finish the whole racetrack. From the first idea to the final product, it was basically... What? Eh, llevó tres días, pero... Pero, what? ¿Qué es esto, tío? <laughs> <laughs> a ver, supongo que aquí no se podrá montar, pero qué puta locura es esta. The final product, it was basically a one-man project. Wait, pardon my stagmania, but it's just idiots and guys. I tried to um, make the racetrack as modular as possible, so I created a few of those uh, racetrack pieces and um, just put them together in a way that it's fun for me to play it. Que dice que pilló dos o tres piezas de, del rally y las empezó a, a unir para de, de alguna manera de, de, de forma de que fuera divertido para él mismo el, el, el correr. My favorite part of the racetrack is probably where you have to jump over a ramp. 
de mi parte favorita es cuando tengas que cuando tienes que saltar en una rampa. ¿Qué dices, tío? Qué guapo, tío. We have been testing the race track internally and it's already a lot of fun. <risa> Hemos testeado internamente y, y ya es muy, muy divertido. <risa> The uh, physics of the Grey Cats is something we are looking into because we also had a loop the loop, but the Grey Cats were not fast enough to take it, so we had to cut it out. But in the future, we hope that we can put it in. O oh, dicen eh, que tienen un loop y que tienen que hacer ajustes a los a los bugs porque no son lo suficientemente rápidos, pero eh, lo tuvieron que que cancelar, pero que en el futuro esperan ponerlo. Qué pasada, tío. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that the staggered nature of video game development can often lead to fun little side projects by developers with big amounts of fun. Dice que hemos aprendido que a veces eh, la, las alternativas a los alrededores pueden eh, venir con eh, can, eh, grandes cantidades de diversión. That the team here continues to not just take feedback from the community, but inspiration for their work as well. And that racing is in the hearts of many of our developers and we're always going to look for more ways to squeeze just a little more in here and there whenever we can. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Behind me is our new still under construction performance capture studio right next door to the Manchester Goods Yard. Ver, esto es lo que nos hablaba en el reporte mensual. Detrás está el estudio de, de mock-up en Manchester que, que estará terminado a, a lo largo de agosto. Nos irán enseñando más cosas seguramente. Y dice que, eh, que, bueno, que, que los desarrolladores siempre están buscando inspiraciones. De, 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 se están inspirando con gente de la comunidad de Star Building soon to be home to CIG Manchester and where you can be very certain I'm going to do many silly and stupid things when the time arrives. Dice que cuando, cuando el tiempo llegue empezará a hacer muchas cosas estúpidas en, en el estudio de mock-up. To my left is the Rover's Return Inn from some UK soap opera that everybody here tells me was a big deal. We'll see you all next week. LOL LOL Brutal, chavales Brutal, eh Jodidamente brutal, tío Madre mía Madre mía, de verdad, tío Pero, pero eh, ya, ya está, chavales Ya estoy por aquí ¿Habéis visto eso? ¿Lo habéis... Okay. Está guapo, eh. sí, sí Estuvimos viendo, está guapísimo, eh Qué locura, tío Qué locura, chavales O sea <risa> Eso, eso va a dar